Hi everybody, welcome to Squishy Reads. I'm Sydney and today I am finally going to talk about my spring into reading a thon TBR. So the spring into reading a thon goes from March 19th until March 29th, which as you'll notice by the fact that I'm posting on March 19th, I very slow getting into this, but I'm gonna make it happen. It's a 10-day readathon, which is really awesome. Much better than the normal like seven-day readathons. It is hosted by Melanie from Completely Melanie, Clint from Reads Readers, and Allie from Hardback Quarter. There are one, two, three, four, five, six challenges. Um, the six challenges are spring cleaning, read a book that has been collecting dust on your shelves, uh, two, time for a vacay, read a book with traveler vacation in it. Three, love is in the air, read a book with pink or yellow on the cover. Four, over the rainbow, read a classic fairy tale or retelling. Five, read um, March, <laughs> women's March, read a book with a strong female character. And six, spring break bash, read the group book. So, for the first book... I'm actually doing a carryover from my backlist readathon, which, spoiler alert, whenever those vlogs and wrap-ups finally get posted, I didn't finish it. I got very depressed because of the virus that shall not be named. So the reading a book that has been collecting dust on your shelves is going to be Spinning Silver by Naomi Novik. I think I got like 30 pages into this or so. I really like it so far. It's Technically, I guess it's a fairy tale retelling, but I'm not using this as a fairy tale retelling. And it's really good. It's fairly long. Um, how long to read this tells me it'll take about eight hours. But I've had this for a couple years, and I really want to read it. So I'm going to read that. It's going to be the first book I read, because I've technically already started it. Sort of. And then time for a vacay. Read a book with Traveler Vacation in it. So another spoiler. Um, I just got this from my massive book outlet haul that I picked up yesterday. It's kind of cheating because I know it really doesn't involve travel or vacations. But it has travel in the cup on the cover, in the title. So it counts. And it is called I'm Traveling Alone by Samuel Bjork. It's actually a murder mystery. This girl is dead. And I'm Traveling Alone is the tag that's left on her body. So this is going to be awesome. I don't think it has much to do with traveling or vacations at all. But it has travel in the title. And it has travel in the book. And it said a book with travel or vacation in it. So close enough. And then for Love is in the Air, read book with pink or yellow on the cover. This is also from my book outlet haul. It is Stay Sweet by Siobhan Vivian. It's about this girl that's working in an ice cream shop. It's a YA. I don't know much else about it. I'm sure there's romance because it's a YA contemporary. So we'll rock with that. And then for four, I actually don't have this one. Um, it is Alice by Christina Henry. I read Lost Boy and The Mermaid by Christina Henry. She does a lot of fairy tale retellings. And the Lost Boy was pretty good. I think I gave it four stars. The Mermaid I gave either three or four stars. I did enjoy it. And so I really want to read Christina Henry's take on Alice in Wonderland and her version of an Alice in Wonderland retelling. And then for five, oh wait, no, five, Women's March, read a book with a strong female character. I am taking one from my March TBR, which I didn't know I was going to do this, but I'm going to do it now. I'm going to read Jane Steele by Lindsay Fay. I don't actually know if this is about a strong female character in the feminism sense, but I know that this is Jane Eyre meets serial killers. On the cover it actually says that Jane Eyre gets a dose of Dexter. So I'm guessing Jane Steele. I'm guessing that's what the main character's name is. Yep. Um, she is a serial killer and might not be the best role model, but a serial killer is a strong female character. I mean, you have to be strong to be a serial killer, I guess. It, it works in my head. Strong female character. 
not necessarily a role model, but strong in some way. And then the last book, which is The Spring Break Bash, read the group book, which is, read the group book. And the group book is If I'm Being Honest by Emily Wibberly and Austin Sigmund Broca. So it's a romance. It's, I don't know if it's a YA. I think it might be a YA. I think it's a YA contemporary romance. I don't have the book. I actually put the physical book on hold through my library before this wholeness happened and the library shut down. So I put a hold on the ebook, but there's like a two to three week wait. So if I can't get to it via ebook, I just downloaded Scribd and Scribd has an audiobook version for free. If you didn't know, Scribd right now is doing no credit cards, 30 days for free because of the virus. So everybody can like get awesome books without a wait. And also, I don't know if other libraries are doing it, but my local library has just upped our hoopla from 10 books a month to 20. And I've heard of some libraries just allowing unlimited rentals of eBooks with no licensing. I don't know if that's everybody, and I also don't think it's through Libby, but worth checking out. Anyway. These are going to be my four physicals for the Spring Into Reading-a-thon. And then I will have the two digital, one of which might end up being a um, audiobook. But yeah, this is what I got. I might or might not start on it today. I don't think I will. Animal Crossing comes out in two hours and 48 minutes. So I don't think that I'll be reading much or at all today but yeah that's it um please leave a comment down below what if you're participating into the spring into reading a thon i'll leave all of the host links down below as well as the individual challenges in the descriptions but let me know if you're participating let me know how you're passing the self isolation social distancing quarantine time let me know what you're reading let me know how your day is. Hopefully this will get better. And like the video if you liked it. Um, subscribe if you liked the video, if you want to see more, or if you just want to see my channel grow or support somebody who is currently unemployed for the near foreseeable future. Joy. But yeah, let's hang out together in the comments below, pass the time, and read some good books. I'll see you guys later. Bye!